Hello and welcome Family Affairs contributor Dr. Dan Gottlieb. Today we'd like to talk about, Dan, that there is so much family stress in today's day and age. There's the parental stresses that are coming with the economy, both families working, but also I want to focus on what this stress, parental stress, is doing to our children and how much stress these children are dealing with and how we can kind of, I'm going to say, balance that or help our children with that stress? Can't be done. Unless we help ourselves with our stress. Now, if you want to raise children well, what you say is almost irrelevant. What you do counts for everything, and who you are at core is really what gets transmitted. And too many of us, too many of us, live our lives inconsistently with what we are at core, with who we are at core. So I've talked before about kindness and generosity and compassion and focus outward to other and too many of us have the focus inside and have our focus narrow and accumulate for self and that leads to a life of anxiety and deprivation, a feeling of deprivation and stress, and that's what gets transmitted to our children. So we're, we're actually leading by example. Our children are watching us. When you're saying it's not so much what we're saying, but it's what we're doing. And I do think that many times parents don't realize that children are great observers, and the children are, obser are, are absorbing what they observe. And parents are the number one teachers, wouldn't you say? Yeah, they're more than observing. I mean, children are like tofu. Yeah. I mean, they just, <laughs> they absorb whatever flavors in the in the environment. Right. I I gave a talk to high school kids years ago. I wrote about this in one of my books, and and I said to them, "How many in the room are under stress?" Every hand went up, and. Why under stress? Well, we're applying for college, pressure's on, got to get in the right college. I said, oh, why? Well, so we can get in the best college, so we can get good grades, so, oh, why? Well, so we can either you know, graduate with honors and get in the right graduate school, medical school, law school, or we can get a head start on our career. Why? And I kept asking why, 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 and ultimately we got to, so we can be happy. Okay, so I said to them, all right, so what is happiness? They didn't yeah. know. They wanted something called happiness, and they didn't know what it was. I mean, they threw out stuff you'd expect, uh, 17-year-old to throw out, you know, money and freedom. Nice and, car, uh, and Exactly. Yeah. They didn't know, and I would not be surprised if I went through the same exercise with their parents, and they didn't know. And it, it becomes the vicious cycle. I want to bring the conversation around a little bit at this point. Do you feel that a lot of children are being misdiagnosed with certain um, mental health issues when in reality it's probably coming from anxiety and stress? Yes. Yeah. I, I, children are showing more symptoms at younger age, more extreme symptoms at younger age, and I'm very, very concerned about it. These kids are being pulled away from their families, and I'm not talking about hospitalized, 
but they were being sent to therapists. Mm -hmm. It was Persian against therapists. But the message to these children are, there's something wrong with you, and therefore I'm sending you to a doctor to fix it. Or, and or, I'm giving you these pills to make you, quote, normal. Right. So these children grow up feeling there's something wrong with them. And many of them, there is not what's wrong with them. It's the world they live in. And you know, how can I say this professionally? It's nuts. Yes. It's nuts. It, it is nuts. Yeah. Yes. And, and parents, you know, there's research about this. Parents don't understand. They minimize the amount of stress kids are living with. Kids don't minimize the amount of stress parents are living with. They get that. And I ask kids often, what's your biggest stressor? And their biggest stressor is the amount of stress their parents are living parents with. Have. So the lesson for everyone and all of the adults out there is that we have to learn how to deal with our stress, our anxiety, and live in trying to promote kindness, not only to ourselves, but to others. Self-compassion. If we can be kind to ourselves, that's the only way we can teach kindness and be kind to others. What a great message today. Thank you, Dan. Thank you.